All right, another uh, guitar lesson with Shafe. Today we're going to talk about harmonics. What are they? Um, there's natural occurring harmonics, and there's also, also something called artificial harmonics, which I don't think we're going to get into artificial harmonics today because um, they're a little, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, well, they don't happen naturally, <laughs> but uh, it's it's just a difficult concept to understand, and it's and it's difficult to actually uh, perform an an, an artificial harmonic and um, uh, natural harmonics. Just um, they're easier to play, and they occur naturally on a guitar, so that that's what makes them easy to play. So you've got actual notes that you play on a guitar, which you hold the fret down, right? You apply pressure down on the fret, and you play. Now, if I wasn't applying enough pressure down on the string, you would hear this, right? It almost, you can still hear the note in there a little bit, but it's not the full note as opposed to, right? So if I were just touching the string and I wasn't applying a lot of pressure down on the fret, it would, it would sound muted. But if you apply, but if you just touch a string and you touch it in the exact right spot, which is right above the fret, not behind the fret. See these these metal brackets, if you will, these metal um, things on the fretboard. These are the actual frets. And when I play on the 12th fret, I'm, I'm actually placing my finger behind the fret itself in order for it to play that fret. And then to play the next note down, I have to go behind the 11th fret and play that one. so on and so forth. Notice I'm not putting my finger on the fret itself because it doesn't sound as good as if I did this as opposed to it sounds muted when I do it like that so I put it behind the fret right now what if I put my finger on the fret but I barely touch the string if I did that you're, you would get what they call a harmonic see how that note I'm not even holding anything down but it plays Those are known as harmonics, okay? And harmonics don't just occur on the 12th fret, although that's a very popular place to play harmonics, but you can play harmonics here. You can also play harmonics on the seventh fret. And isn't it funny how when you go down on the string, the harmonics actually get higher. That's interesting because when you play notes on the fret, The notes get lower, but when you play the harmonics, the harmonics get higher further down. So instead of this one, this one up here. And I know there's like a mathematical equation, like there's a there's some kind of way that you can figure out why it does what it does. I don't really care. The bottom line is the further down on the on the on the fretboard that you go and you play harmonics. That's a really high note that you're playing a harmonic on it. And, and again, when you touch, when you play a harmonic, you're not pressing down. You're just barely touching the string. And then right after you hit the note, you lift your finger off. You hear that? I'm sure you guys have heard that before. These are natural harmonics. So let's talk about some songs where they use this, and Bonnet Mom, you're going to like this one. A Rush song, a very popular Rush song called Red Barchetta, starts off with harmonics. And it's Alex Lifeson playing these harmonics right here. Oh, excuse, excuse me. And these, these notes aren't coming through really well. I need to maybe change the pickup.
and then he goes into so anyway um harmonics are used you know who uses harmonics a lot is the edge from u2 he does a lot of this That, that can be found on their first album, Boy. Um, I think it's called Stories for Boys or something like that, where, where he does that. So The Edge loves those, those harmonics. I... All right, so that's just a little bit about harmonics. I'll try to keep this video under six minutes. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions and have a great day.